Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got all new Amazon finds for you. I've got things in here from beauty, from clothes, from housewares, just things that are gonna help you in your everyday life to do things better, easier, and faster and to look a lot better as well. So I've done a couple of these Amazon finds videos in the past. I don't really like to repeat products in them. So everything that I'm showing you here today, you may have seen in another video, but never in an Amazon finds video. And so if you're interested in my other Amazon finds videos though, I will link them for you in the info box. And of course, everything that I'm showing you will be linked in the description box below the video. And it will all also be linked in my Amazon shop, which is also linked in the info box below the video so you can find links to everything there. So if you love a good Amazon finds video, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So let's jump right in. The first item I want to show you are these eyeliner stamps and these are great for helping you do a winged eyeliner when you're getting a little bit older. I mean obviously you can use these at any age but I've found as I get older, I am less and less able to draw on a nice winged eyeliner. My hand isn't as steady as it used to be. My vision isn't as good as it used to be. And my skin of my eyelid isn't as firm as it used to be. So sometimes it's hard to get that on there, but I love wearing winged eyeliner sometimes and I don't wanna to have to give it up just because I'm getting a little bit older. So enter the Flick Stick. This is the eyeliner stamp that I love. You get two, one for your left eye, one for your right eye. And and these are fantastic and you can get them in a couple of different sizes. I think I first showed them to you in the 10 millimeter size and since then I've bought the 8 millimeter size because I think this is like a better everyday size for me. The 10 millimeter is definitely a great size for like a special occasion but these are the ones that I use most of the time. So on one end they have a little stamp and you basically just press it and it makes the wing for you and it's so easy to use and then the other end has the pen so then you use the pen to just connect it down to your eyelid and then draw that across. So it's really made it quick and easy for me to do a winged liner and so I don't have to give it up now that I'm older. Next is this set of four beauty spatulas. I had bought another spatula a few years ago but I found that it was a little bit too wide to fit into some of my smaller opening containers and so that I wasn't able to get in there and dig out the ends of products. And that's what these are really for is when you're coming to the end of a bottle or a container of something like a lotion, a sunscreen, shampoo, conditioner, whatever it is, and you want to get every drop out because, you know, sometimes these things are expensive. Even if they're not expensive, we still love them when we want to use every drop. So the little purple one is my favorite, and that's because I can use that to get the rest of my Elta MD sunscreen out. When I can't pump any more out of here, there's still a lot left in here. And so all you have to do is twist this off and use your tiny little spatula and see how small that hole is. So this little spatula will fit in there just perfectly. And look how much I was able to get out of there still. But with a larger lotion like this, this little one is not gonna reach all the way to the bottom, which is why I'm so happy that you get these other sizes. So the green one will fit into like a 12 ounce bottle like this and be able to get the rest of that out. And then they also have these bigger ones. You could use one of these in your kitchen, but you can also use them if you buy the extra large size bottles of shampoo and conditioner to get to the bottoms of those. And I feel like they've saved me a ton of money on wasted product that I don't throw away anymore. And I really love this set. I don't buy a ton of makeup or skincare on Amazon, but there are a few skincare things that I do buy on Amazon that I absolutely love. The first one is the Isntree Green Tea Fresh Toner. This is not so much like a toner as it's more of an essence because it's not alcohol based. It's not going to change the pH of your skin. Green tea is an antioxidant. It's a really great ingredient to have in your skincare routine because it fights free radicals. And this is a really great way to get it. It feels so cool and refreshing just to, you know, put a little bit of it in your hand and just press it against your skin. It's just a, such a nice step in my evening skincare routine and I just love it. So that is an all time fave. Then another thing that I've added into my evening skincare routine is this Body Mary Night Cream. This is a really great night cream. It contains peptides and niacinamide and ceramides. So it's got a lot of the things that are in my night cream that costs a lot more. It's a really nice thick formula and it just makes your skin feel so hydrated. It's so creamy. It really makes you feel like it's locking that moisture onto your skin. 
and it's going to keep it there all night. So I use that as a night cream as the last step in my skincare routine and I just love the ingredients. I love the price point on it and I love how my skin feels in the morning. So there's a lot packed in here and it's a really nice night cream. One of my favorite sunscreens to buy on Amazon is the Dr. G Green Mild Up sunscreen. It's got an SPF 50 plus with a PA plus 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 rating and it's a mineral sunscreen with zinc oxide and it's such a beautiful sunscreen. It's very lightweight. It almost feels more like a chemical sunscreen because it doesn't leave much of a white cast and it's really sheer and really lovely on the skin and it doesn't give you any like thickness or greasy feeling. It's not super shiny. Since it has the PA plus 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 rating that's the high rating you can get for UVA in a sunscreen so I know that I'm getting both UVB and UVA protection and you know UVA stands for aging you're getting good UVA coverage it's easy to wear under makeup doesn't cause any balling or pilling and uh, it's just a really great sunscreen that I love and purchase on Amazon all right let's do some clothes and accessories next this is one of my favorite all-time sweaters that I've gotten on Amazon. I love it. I ordered it in two colors. I love them both. I have them. I have it in this orangey rusty color and I also have it in white. It is such a cute sweater and it's the perfect weight for this time of year. You know it's not quite the end of summer. It's not quite chilly fall so it's great to have like a short sleeve sweater. I love the puff sleeves on it but I love the detail on this sweater. It has this pattern of little holes in it so it still feels very summery without being like a heavy sweater and it is so soft and the fit is so great. It's really been a great find for me. Like every time that I look in my closet and I'm like, I have nothing to wear. I just grab this sweater and it's always perfect, whether it's casual or a little bit more dressy, you know, you can dress it up with a jacket and it's just a great little sweater. Then I wanted to talk about my watch bands. So I recently got an Apple watch and I didn't love the band that came with my Apple watch. It was just like the plastic band. And so I decided to swap out the band. So I got this band a couple of weeks ago and I really love it. It's so pretty. It's like a ceramic style band. This one doesn't match my watch exactly because my watch is the starlight color and this band's metal is rose gold. So it doesn't match exactly but it's close enough. I love the color of the ceramic on here. It's kind of a pink and an off-white. It's so easy to take it on and off. You just open it up here. It's so easy to swap the band in and out. You just slide it in and out. When this one came in, it was a little bit too big for me, but it comes with a kit to remove a couple of the links. It only took about 10 minutes to remove the links and it's been perfect and it was really easy to do. So I love that one. And I also bought another band that I really like. And this is like a metal mesh band. And this one is in the starlight color. So this one matches my watch perfectly. This one just has magnets for a clasp. So you don't really need to adjust it. Then you've got a perfect fitting watch watch band without having to take out any links. I love the versatility with the different bands for the watch so that you can just pop them on and off and you can change them with your outfit or with your mood or with you know what you're doing if you want more of a bracelet-y style or more of a classic style. They have so many. Then with fall right around the corner I wanted to show you a couple of items of clothing that I bought last spring that were perfect for spring but they felt a little bit folly to me so I wanted to show them to you again because they were so perfect. They were so beautiful. They were like two of my favorite things that I bought last spring. The first one is this skirt. This skirt does come in a lot of different colors so you don't have to get it to be a folly look but this color is just so perfect for fall. It's like a tulle over skirt that has these velvet flowers on it. I love this look. It just so reminded me of like SJP from Sex and the City and I just feel so like Parisian and classy when I wear this. The only thing I don't love about the skirt is the waistband so it definitely needs a belt and I can link the belt that I'm wearing with it um, in the footage over there because that is also a great set of belts also from Amazon. I love them so much. They're so versatile. The jacket that I have it on with is this jacket which is going to be so perfect for fall. I got a lot of wear out of this in the spring and I can't wait to continue wearing it in the fall. It's more of like a sweater coat. It's a little bit stretchy. It has pockets but the material is so soft. It's not 
wool so it's not going to be itchy. I don't feel like I have to wear a turtleneck or a scarf with it. It looks great with jeans, looks great with lots of different things. All right, a couple more things that you wear, although they're much less fashion-y and much more utilitarian. The first one is this back brace. I think I showed this to you in a vlog video a couple of months ago. Um, I've been having such a hard time with my back. It's just, I think, you know, part of getting older. And um, my back hurts sometimes. Like if I vacuumed, I guess I lean forward too much when I do that, and then my back will hurt after that. So it could be my mattress. You know, I've been sleeping on the same mattress for 10 years. I just bought a new mattress. Mattress. But in the meantime, I thought, well, let me just try this back brace. This one had so many like five star reviews. It was really crazy, like, you know, tens of thousands of five star reviews. So I was like, well, all those opinions can't be wrong. Let me try this one. So I got this one. I love it. I wear it every time I work out. Like I said, every time I vacuum or if I want to like rotate my mattress or if I'm gardening, just anything that I feel like it's going to tweak out my back. I run and get my back brace, put it on, and it has been really the savior. I don't have that same level of back pain anymore. And so it's been really great. And I've been talking it up so much to my family that every single person has bought one. Like now my mom's wearing it, my dad's wearing it, my sister got one for her husband. It really does support your back and help you to keep from using your back muscles too much, like overusing them. It helps you to remember to, you know, engage your abdominal muscles, which is part of why you have back pain, right? Because you do everything with your back, lift things wrong and all that. So anyway, this has been very, very helpful. Here is an amazing backpack that I bought. I was flying on kind of a new budget Budget airline that's in my area that services from here to Florida, but they have restrictions on what size backpack you can bring on the plane to put under your seat. And I wanted to make sure that I could put it under the seat and not have to put it in the bin because they charge you money to put something in the bin, even if it's like small. And this backpack was such a surprise to me. I just love it. It's nice and small and compact, but this thing holds a ton. It has got pockets upon pockets upon pockets. It keeps your stuff so organized. It's wide when you open it, so you can actually see what's in there. It's got a double padded sleeve here, and I usually bring my iPad because that's what I read on at night. So I go laptop, iPad, then it's got a secure zipper pocket in there. So the inside is full of pockets. And then the outside is full of pockets. So it's got like a secret pocket here. And then it's got this small pocket on the front here where you could just put in, say, your sunglasses or your keys. And then it's got this bigger pocket here where I like to put my phones or my cameras, that kind of thing. It does have water bottle pockets on both sides. On the back, it's got a strap so that you can slide it over your suitcase handle and it can ride on there. It's got this little secret pocket back here for stuff that you wouldn't want anyone to know about. And then it comes with a charging cable. So if you say have your phone inside your backpack, you just connect the phone's charging cable to a port inside the backpack. And then you connect this cable out here to an outlet. It's the kind of thing where they thought of everything and it comes in so many colors. I got it in this gray. I loaned this one to my mom to take to her Canada trip. She loved it. Her girlfriend that was on the trip with her loved it so much that she bought one. <laughs> then my sister was going to Florida on the same airline as me. She bought herself one and they all love it so much. The fabric's nice and soft, but it's easy clean. So that's a great little backpack. And speaking of traveling, this next item I just used on my trip and it was so perfect for the overnight flight. You know how you take your travel pillow with you and it's bulky and you can't fit it in your carry-on because it takes up too much room so you end up wrapping it around your head and walking through the airport with the thing. So well, I found this airplane pillow called the Turtle on Amazon two years ago, but then pandemic hit. And so I wasn't able to use it until this year. So they have changed it. I don't think it comes in this bag anymore. So it is, I think, the next version or an improvement on the travel pillow because the travel pillow is always just too little. Like it doesn't keep my head up. You know, I sleep with my head on a travel pillow. It's bent way over this way or my head's nodding this way. And even if you put it on backwards, it's still not thick enough to hold your chin up. This one actually holds your chin up. You just put it like this in between, then you just lay your head on it like this, and it just supports you. And in order to keep it in place, you do take this kind of scarf bit and you wrap it around and you just Velcro it over onto the other side. Your head doesn't flop over. You don't wake up with a neck ache. It's really great and it's adjustable too. So if you have like less space in here, you can dial this down. If you have more space in here, you can open this up. 
so that it gives you more support. And then you just lay your head in there and you sleep very, very comfortably without your head wobbling around or you know falling forward. Your mouth doesn't hang open, <laughs> um, which is good. So you're not drooling, you're not snoring. I really love the thing for the overnight flight. I thought it was great. Let's do some around the house stuff next. You guys had been so concerned about me. In one of my vlogs, I was opening boxes and I was using either like a steak knife or a pair of scissors and I was waving them around and you guys were like, stop waving around that knife. Get what, get yourself one of those ceramic uh, box cutters. And I was like, what? I don't know what that is. So thanks you guys for hipping me to the fact that there is such a thing as a ceramic box cutter. I really love this one because it's got this big loop. I can't lose the thing. This is amazing. This cuts through tape. It cuts through cardboard, but somehow it magically doesn't cut through anything else. Like it doesn't cut through your skin, which is good, which is why it's safe. I had bought um, a carpet that came and it was all bundled up in this heavy, thick plastic. I used this to cut through the plastic and it didn't cut the carpet. So it's much safer. It's so handy to have around. This next one I am so excited about. I have only been in my house for a year and I've already had to use Drano in my shower drain twice because, you know, I got a lot of hair when I shampoo. I'm always shocked at the amount of hair that falls out and like that I even have any left on my head. But, you know, it's natural. Our hair just sheds and that's the way it is. But it was all going down my drain. And so I was looking for something that would keep it out of the drain. And I saw those round daisy ones that are plastic and like rubbery looking. And I was like, mm, I mean, yeah, OK, I can get one of those, but they're not really great looking or elevated looking like I redid all my bathrooms. I put in like beautiful tile and everything in my shower. So I didn't want something that was not as elegant looking as my shower was. And then I saw this one. I was like, oh, that one will be perfect. So my shower drain is also square instead of round. So I was looking for something square. I don't know if it is metal or if it's just a metal look, but it's nice metal. And then it just has this thin rubber edge that just kind of blends in with the grout. So I just put this in my shower and oh my gosh, does this catch the hair. And I'm even surprised at like the dog hair it catches. It's a little gross to look at, but at least that's not going down the drain. You do have to like clean the hair off of it, but I find it's much easier to do that. I mean, it's my hair anyway, so it's fine. That is something that I've been really, really excited to share with you guys because it's just solving such a very simple everyday problem that I think most women have. Then next up is this dusting one that I bought. Uh, my new house has really high ceilings and there are some light fixtures and ceiling fans that are way up there. So I needed something with a telescoping arm. Um, and so I bought this thinking that I would mainly only use it for the high stuff, but I love this so much. I use it for everything. I do all my dusting with this. This does telescope out to a hundred inches long. So it goes really, really, really long. This is kind of like a staticky material. And so all the dust and all the dog hair and stuff just clings right into it. And it really traps and holds it. And then to clean it, I basically take it outside and I just shake it outside and I can see like, so much stuff coming off of this and flying away in the breeze. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is amazing. This is washable. I haven't washed it yet, but they say to just like either run it under water or, you know, just dunk it into a bucket or something and then let it dry and it'll be great. And the other thing about this is that you can bend it. The other thing that I love to dust with this are my baseboards because having two dogs like I do, there is so much dog hair on my baseboards all the time. And it's a perfect length because I, then I don't have to bend down. I can just walk upright and kind of, you know, just drag this along the baseboard next to me and it uh, picks up all the dog hair off the baseboards. And so I just love it for so many things. I dust all my bookshelves with it, all my windowsills, all my woodwork, all the cobwebs in the corners. I mean, this thing, I can't even tell you how often I use this. I probably use it two or three times a week. Do you guys have an air fryer? And do you love your air fryer? And what's the one thing that you don't like about your air fryer? It's cleaning the basket, right? Because it's two pieces and you have to wash them both. I mean, yeah, they do say you can put them in the dishwasher, but they take up so much space that I was always hand washing mine. So instead I bought these um, paper baskets that you can line your air fryer basket with and cook your stuff in. So I just bought a new set and this is what they look like. They're just kind of like brown paper. I think this is like a hundred of them. So it'll last a good long time. 
and all you do is preheat your air fryer and I actually use this to like mix up my veggies like say I'm making Brussels sprouts or cauliflower you know I cut them up I put them in here it's on the counter and I'll just drizzle the olive oil salt and pepper and then I'll just stir it up right in this so I don't have to dirty a separate bowl as well so that saves me a little bit of cleanup and then I just pick the whole thing up and plunk it right into my air fryer and it works perfectly. I gotta say the first time that I used one of these, I didn't like it because I didn't preheat the air fryer before I put it in. I put it in when the air fryer was cold and then when I opened it up <laughs> to put the food in, it was all like crunched forward. And then when I put the food in, it stayed forward and it kind of steamed it instead of crisping it. But if you let the air fryer heat up first and then put it in with your food in it, it doesn't steam it, it makes it nice and crispy. So I really love these. All right, so the next item, I actually have two of them, but it's something that I didn't know I needed, but I in fact did need it and I love it so much. It's the JBL Bluetooth speakers. Have you guys tried these? These are amazing. I just love them so much. My daughter asked for one of these for Christmas last year and I got it for her and she was telling me how much she loves the thing. She's like, it's waterproof. I take it with me when we go camping and when we go hiking. Well then this summer um, I was over at my folks house and my dad brought one of these in from out by the pool and he's like, does anyone belong to this? And my niece said, oh yeah, that belongs to my friend. It was just out there in the elements. It got rained on and because it's waterproof, it didn't hurt it and the battery was still good. Like we turned it on, someone synced up their Bluetooth with it, which is so quick and easy. And then we started playing music on it right then and there. It hooks up with the Bluetooth so fast, had no trouble finding it. And then you could just play whatever music or if you're listening to like a YouTube video, let me just play this video on it for you so that I don't- Videos in oh. June to a week and tested some foundations. I had to choose my own videos to play so it's something that wouldn't get me a copyright ding. So this one is great for like on your deck, on your boat, by the pool, in your bathroom, just any place that you could use music that it's just hard to, you know, have music going on there and you just play whatever you want from your phone but I kind of wanted to have one that would go with me. Like I do hiking and paddle boarding and gardening. And I was like, you know what? I would really like to have some music when I'm doing these things rather than just listening to the air and the ringing in my ears. So I got myself another one. Is this bad? <laughs> I don't think it is because I love this guy. Look at this one. It's so tiny and it has a little clip here so you can clip it to anything. So when I'm out gardening, I just clip it to the belt loop of my pants. And if I'm hiking, I can just clip it onto my backpack. So it's awesome and it works the same way. And they also come in so many cute colors like they come in purple, pink, green, blue. Um, makes a really great gift. All right, here's a kitchen gadget that again, I didn't know I needed, but <laughs> turns out I really did. And it has to do with getting older again. So I had a lemon squeezer that would help me juice my lemon. So it was this little two piece plastic thing that I loved for years and years and years. But I find that now that I'm getting older, I can't squeeze the lemons as well as I used to be able to. There's still a ton of juice left in the lemon. So I was like, oh, I need something that's gonna help me squeeze a lemon better. And so I was watching another influencer and they had this on. And so I said, well, let me try that one. So I ordered it up and this is so good. And I think the thing with it is it's not hard to squeeze it because it's got these gears here. So it really uses like the magic of engineering and gears to make squeezing your lemon really easy. So you just pop your lemon in here. This goes on top and you just squeeze it together like this. And all the juice comes out here unless you're overly zealous like I am. And then some of the juice goes, gets collected in the metal part, which is great. It was so easy to use and I just love this. And who knew that I needed a new lemon squeezer, but why not make something that you do fairly often easier and stop struggling with the old things. All right, so that is everything that I had to share with you in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And as always, I thank you so much for your your time. I really appreciate your watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.